Hi everyone, welcome to module 6. In module 6 this week, we're going to be reading chapters 14 and 15. You have quiz number 5, which you'll have two attempts, 60 minutes, and I'll take the highest of the two attempts. You also have the extra credit quiz. <clears throat> now the extra credit qu quiz will be worth 100 points, and you have the opportunity to work, earn 100 extra credit points. I recommend that everyone takes it. It'll be very important, as I will take the highest of your two attempts, and it'll be 50 extra credit questions. I've also included the PowerPoint slides and the ancillary materials as well. But for this week, we're going to be looking at the role of the Fed. And when we look at the role of the Fed, you'll notice that the Fed is very important to our economy because the Fed is controlling the level of inflation. And the level of inflation determines a lot of important aspects. And when we look at the role of money, money is important because how economists will view different aspects. Money is classified as a way of exchanging for goods and services. And when we look at it, we deal with a lot of different things with money. And if you look at this, Apple didn't want my cash. So Apple's turning things around. Apple's changing the way they buy things. And they try to buy an iPad, $600 in currency. Apple refused to stale. They want to keep track of people buying multiple iPads to resell. So it was only accepting credit or debit cards, not cash. Is this legal? Yes, it's legal. Because Apple has decided the form of payment that they would like to accept. And given that Apple's such a prolific brand, they have the ability to influence the market. Because consumers really don't have anywhere else to go when you look at it. Now when we look at the Fed, you'll notice that the Fed was started to help bank runs in panic. And the Fed was critical to our economy. The Fed is like the central bank. They can help prevent bank runs and panic by acting as a lender of last resort, as they are promising to make loans to banks in order to pay off depositors. It's key to look at, when you look at banks, to focus on how their structure is. And the Fed influences a lot of decisions that we make, and the Fed is key to our economy. So when you look this week at some of the things that we're focused on, look at how the Fed can directly influence decisions that you make. Please make sure to take the extra, extra credit quiz as it can only help you. And if you have any questions, let me know, but I look forward to your effort. 